Yo, what's going on guys? Before we begin this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is a ticket buying app that aggregates tickets from all over the web to make buying easier. They have a 1 to 100 rating scale on their tickets to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad one. Green for good and red for bad. The app also allows you to see exactly where you're going to be sitting and what the view will be. So if you guys are thinking about buying tickets for this upcoming MLB season, make sure you guys use my code ATRIN to get $20 back on your first purchase there will also be a link down below so go check that out this is going to be the fourth time we played the pig trojans we've gotten silvers every single time so far so today's the day that we get at least a gold in the reward section also before we begin make sure you guys hit that sub button and turn on post notifications to never miss a video guys make sure you hit that like button let's get a goal of 100 likes so we can continue this series of playing the pink trojans update me right now guys about your games against pink trojans i did change the team a lot it, it is all catchers in the bench now too so if they do switch things up in the field it will be catchers so it should be much easier to play the pink trojans but i want to know in the comment section below what you guys have got since the last time we made a video so let's get started though guys you guys know already how to do this hopefully we get a diamond in today's episode we also switched our team around a little bit guys i wanted christian yelich in there instead of lou brock and I'm also going to try Tommy Pham instead of Eno Slaughter. I want a little bit more power on the team. I don't really care about the contact anymore. I feel like this year, contact, it doesn't really matter as much as power. So we're going to try this out today. We got Tyson Ross on the mound. Don't even know how we got him on there. But, okay, here we go. We're at Great American Ballpark because the Brewers are playing the Reds today, even though we are playing at home. Plus, I really like this ballpark here anyways. It's, it's really, it's got a nice view, and I like the red. I like the red. There we go. Come on, get him out, get him out, get him out. Good job. First out of the game. They've been hitting us pretty well the last couple episodes, too. Like, I think they scored four on me last game and then three in the game before. Joel Random takes a huge cut at that freaking slider inside, though. Joel Random definitely is the best player on this team. But that's not going to work out. That's going to be an out. Two outs already. Looking to be, like, a pretty quick game for us today. Hopefully they don't quit out after the third inning. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. There we go. Two strikes to Jabari. Jabari strikes out the most on this team. It's crazy. Let's go. Christian Yelich. I'm so sick of like the injuries happening to the Brewers right now. Christian Yelich is out. Eric Danes is out. Lorenzo Kane is not 100%. Cork Nabel is out. It's just not a fun time right now for the Brewers, guys. It's not a fun time. How is your team doing? How is your team doing this year so far? I want to know your favorite team and their record right now, guys. So just let me know. Let me know. But like I said, it's it's huge that Christian Yelich is out of the game right now. Like it's really bad for Milwaukee Brewers. I'm surprised we even came out with one win against the Mets in that last series. But hopefully we can beat the Reds here. Take maybe two games out of the three, or how many however many games that we have to play them here at home. We are on a seven-game home stand though, so. Hopefully we can at least win over 500 of those games. Here we go. We got yeah, we got Miami Marlins and Cincinnati Reds. But here we go, guys. We got Jorge Posada. Ooh, took a big cut at that. I was not expecting that fastball way up there. Here we go. 0-1 count. Posada. Remember, guys, the newest diamond on the team. What are we doing? I feel like we only dropped it right here. We did definitely did not drop it there. 0-2 count though. Here we go. I forgot. We just gotta sit right here. Ah, poop. All right, Pops is going to kill it, though. He's, he's definitely going to go hit this bomb, and it's going to be too easy right now. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, Jabari, Jabari, Jabari. All right, Tommy Pham. Let's see what he does for the debut here against the Yetis. He does have some decent power. I just want it. Ooh. Is he gonna, I think he's going to drop it. Oh, okay. He caught it. He caught it. It's a slow day over here against the Yetis, guys. I don't care, though. We're going, we're cruising along. Definitely cruising along. They're taking hacks at it. We're catching the balls, and it's going to be a quick Yetis game, which I like. I like it a lot because then we can play some more if we wanted to. Time is key when playing the Yetis, guys. Time is key. I really wish they would bring back where you could grind missions against them, you know? Like 2016 Yetis, 
was the bomb because then you can get the same benefits and the rewards plus it was so easy to grind missions especially we need it now more than ever the missions are so much more of a grind this year than ever so i mean maybe we can boycott i don't know i don't know if it's something that you guys really care about or not but i think i think it would be cool to get that back all right guys oh my god we have zero hits so far through fourth Maybe we do gotta start trying now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's go. 1-0. Jorge Posada. Hit a bomb, bro. Hit a bomb. That's not a bomb. But Jabari's over there diving for that ball. <laughs> well, he started. Get him home, bro. Get him home. Keep hitting it to Jabari Blash. He's not over. He's not supposed to be over at second base, but he's over there anyways. 1-0. 1-0. 1-0. It's so funny that Jabari's at second base. Like... He's having such a hard time over there, too. 2 0 count to Willie Stargell. There's the pitch we wanted, and that's gonna be a base hit. Let's go. So, I will actually be at the game tomorrow. Reds versus Brewers. So, if any of you guys are there, come and see me. I'm gonna be at the right field foul line. I think it was section. I don't, I don't even remember the section, but I'll be there, guys. I'll be there. Come find me. Here we go. Edwin and Carnacion. 1 1 count. Let's go hit that truck over there on top of Emily Show 18. That'd be kind of cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, he tried, he tried. Is that ball out of here? Oh, my God. I was just kidding, bro. He tried. 443 feet. Holy camoli. Camoli? Cannoli. Cannolis? You guys like cannolis? What are cannolis? Camolis. Yo, I'm really liking this Tyson Ross, actually. Only one hit so far, and there was an infield hit by Jabari Blash. Where, like, the, the, I don't know. It's really slow. The infield is really slow this year, it seems like. And that's the only reason why we, they have a hit right now. I was going to go for a complete game. Or a freaking perfect game, but, you know, Jabari with 50 speed, they're going to give him an infield hit. There we go. Final out of the inning. Fifth inning, just like that. So after our little third winter here in Wisconsin, I think finally next week, or they're coming this weekend, we're finally going to hit 50s and 60s. So I think we're going to start go, We're going to start recording our in real baseball videos. I do have one set up where it has MLB The Show and in real in the same video so i can't wait for that guys i hope you guys are excited for that too i'm gonna get a blitz ball video coming out i have a blitz ball giveaway happening tyson ross gets a base hit we're gonna go second right away though just get that out but yeah we have a blitz ball giveaway happening you guys might have seen it on fuzzies and mighty goats channel already but i got my giveaway going on there i'll explain that and how you guys can win that too but here we go bottom of the fifth christian yelich we do we did get a hit but like i like i said I just want to cruise. Christian Yelich gets another base hit. But I just want to cruise and get these outs and finish this game. Let's go. Oh, Tommy Pham. He's going to drop it. Oh, yo, this is one of the ballparks I actually want to come and see. If there are any, like, Reds fans that's been to Great American Ballpark, I want to know in the comment section below what you guys think of your own ballpark here. I, I love Miller Park, guys. A lot of people say, oh, my God, look at that ugly roof. But no, man, I love Miller Park. Miller Park's probably one of the nicest stadiums in all of baseball. But I want to go to every single one. I want to visit every single ballpark. And that, that's on my bucket list. I think the first one we'll go to is Grand American Ballpark because it is it is much closer. I, obviously, I want to go check out Wrigley Field, but I think that's one of the last ones I want to go to. Save some of the best for last, you know? I'm not saying Chicago Cubs are the best, but <laughs> I'm saying their stadium has a lot of history to it, and I want to savor that moment. And then maybe we can, like, do a start a tour where I meet you guys at these ballparks, which would be kind of cool, right? But here we go. We got a 1-0. Oh, two strikes already. We still have Tyson Ross in there at only 73 pitches. These Yetis are, are these pink Trojans are no match for Tyson Ross right now. This, I've told you guys, this is a really good gold pitcher card. Here we go, guys. Bottom of the eighth. Last time, last inning to do anything. I don't think I need more runs. I definitely don't think I need more runs because they've been batting horribly this whole game. So I think Tyson Ross can close it out in the top of the ninth with a complete game shutout, but... So I'm gonna just keep running right here and just get these outs. 
Wow, they're booty right now. <laughs> Dude, Tyson Ross might be able to go all the way home. Oh my god, he is. Oh! Oh, he got so lucky with that one. Max Stasi. Max Stasi, man. Is this the right Max Stasi I'm thinking of? The one on Houston right now? Because he's playing really well. He might get an upgrade. We might have to take him off the the Pink Trojans team. I'm still thinking of Yetis, man. But Pink Trojans. Pink Trojans. One out. Two more to go. Hashtag diamonds in the comment section below right now, guys. Because... I need as many of those as possible. If we can reach 100 comments saying hashtag diamonds, I think we're going to get a diamond. Let's go. Let's go. Strike two. Strike two. Tyson Ross. Amazing today. Another grounder to third. One thing also that's like really surprising to me is Edwin Encarnacion at third base doing very, very well. Better than most. But that's his secondary position too, which is crazy. And he's going to finish it off. Three grounders to third base in a row. Edwin Encarnacion, let's go. Get our reward right now, guys. Come on, Diamond. Here it is. Come on. Fingers crossed. Please. Please, game. That gold cleat might actually be like 3 to 4K. If we can get that, that would be so amazing. Okay, one silver's gone. That's gone. Please. Please. We're so close. Oh my god, here we go. Please! Yes! Oh my god, how much is it? Under Armour, UA Deception, low gold. Let's go. And we get an extra Joe Kelly. How much is this? How much is that cleat? I hope I didn't get excited for no reason. Gold cleats. B5K, please. B5K, B5K. B5K. No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Shoot. This was 2K. Ugh. Ugh. I thought it was a 5k card. Nonetheless, it was the best card in there. It is as much as a, a freaking silver that we would have got, I think. But I thought this reward was going to be at least 2,000. I got trolled, guys. I was thinking of this one right here. I was thinking of this one right here. Oh, that sucks so much. But... Alright guys, if you enjoyed today's video, remember to share down below your rewards from the pink Trojans, guys. I want to know your rewards, and I'm really curious, so leave them down in the comment section below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you guys want me to continue a pink Trojans series like this, and the episodes, if you want them to keep coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and as always, we'll catch you in the next one.